Hello friends, it's Christy. Welcome to Bitly Dilly House Plans. In today's video, we are setting up my October monthly cleaning page and my plum paper vertical columns. So let's get started. Alrighty friends, so I have my Clean Mama's Guide to a Clean Home which for the month of October, the monthly focus is the laundry room or laundry area. And then I have all of my Saya planning Clean Mama scripts that she put together. We've got daily tasks and all of those. So make the bed, wipe the counters, declutter, check floors, and do a load of laundry. And then I also have the weekly tasks here, which are the sheets and towels garbage, dust, empty the fridge, that's one I added, vacuum, mop, scrub the bathrooms, water the plants, again another one I added, and scoop the poop, that's one that I've added. And then we have our rotating task headers as well as our monthly task headers. And then I also have this Pretty Pumpkins washi from kit 446, it's from Planner Kate, so I'm gonna use that on the top here. I also pulled this July mystery doodle sheet from Fern Creek Stickers because there's some cute little house cleaning related icons on here that I thought I would use like maybe the refrigerator or the little recycle or the garbage can or the laundry basket or the bed like I thought they were kind of cute and kind of coordinated so I am going to go ahead and let's take a look here I love this washi this is so pretty so this is the one that I really really like and what I think I'm going to do is take this piece here I used a strip of it in my monthly plan. So I'm gonna take this strip here and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it in half so they can get two strips out of it. Okay, so I basically cut it in half and I am just going to start laying this down. I just wanna get all of the washi down. This looks like the little blue pumpkins are upside down that way, so I'm gonna do it this way. And just sort of do this. Okay, so I have that. And then I thought maybe I would do a piece of this blue. This is such a pretty kit. The monthly, I just, I'm so excited about it. It came out so cute. I love it. Okay. I have to be out of town at the end of the month, so I'm gonna use this pink one down here. So cute. So I have to try to get things done. There's gonna be like a weekend where I just, I'm not getting any housework done because I'm not home. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And then let's go ahead and flip the page and we'll put down the other washi. Let's see, let's do this blue one up on top here. So I like that, cute. And then, got that, and then maybe we'll do this other half of that strip so that I'm using it up. Put that down. And then, there's that. And then for this one, we might as well just do this last pink one here. Let's see. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so that's the washi. And then what I did was, from the monthly kit, I used some of the stickers from that because there's so many stickers in these kits. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put down each of the weeks. So we have those in place. There we go, and then three through nine, 10 through 16. I just wanna make sure I'm getting these in order. And then the last full week is going to be here. Okay, whoops, let me get this straight. There's that. Okay, so that's that. I like using up all my bits and pieces. Oops, and then let's go ahead and cover this little icon. Let's pull those 
cute little doodles from Fern Creek Stickers. And let's put, I really kind of like this one here, this little laundry basket I think is gonna cover. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. And then you know what I'm gonna put on here is this little refrigerator because you know what I'm gonna tell you friends? Let's see if this fits. Our, so we have a refrigerator that was like a hand-me-down that Scott had gotten from one of his friends and it's in our garage. So we kind of use it for overflow because the refrigerator in our house is kind of small just because that's what fit in the space when we remodeled and um, it died on us. And so <laughs> I have called for service. I'm hoping it's something that they can fix, but I thought, you know what, it's worth it to just call and have them come out and take a look at it. And if they can fix it, they can fix it. If not, then I guess we're out of fridge. So that's that. So I'm gonna put that fridge there. <laughs> that's the long story of it, friends. So I'm gonna put all of these daily task headers down here so we can get the daily tasks worked out. Last one over here. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is lay down what the daily five are. So I start with make the bed and these little scripts that say I made just fit beautifully on this monthly cleaning page here in Plum Paper. You wipe the counters down. I usually do that in the morning as part of my feeding Otis routine. Decluttering, that's when I kind of tidy up. I end up kind of tidying up either the night before or the morning, the next morning, just kind of depending on what's going on. Checking the floors. So usually if I see debris on the floors, I will just kind of sweep it with a broom. Okay, so those are my daily five. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and just put all the rest of them down for each of the weeks. All right, so I have each of the daily five down for my weeks, my four weeks in October, you can see there. And now what I'm going to do is take my little Erin Condren stencil and I pulled 946 from my Tombow set and I'm just gonna draw all these little boxes in. So I'm gonna put these here for check boxes for each day of the week. All right, so I have all of my little check boxes done. I like that in the orange. So I'll just show you in the Clean Mama guide. I kind of have them flagged. Here's the daily five. So again, make the bed, swipe the counters, check the floors, clutter, but I have declutter, and then do a load of laundry. So that is that. And then let's move right into the weekly tasks. So I'm gonna put all of the headers down. This has really been a great system for me. I know I comment back and forth and, and chat with my planner friends on, you know, kind of what system works for you. Maybe these systems don't work at all for you. Like it just kind of really depends on your life and like your household and schedule and all of that kind of stuff. So let's see. So here are my scripts. I'll show you in the book. Let me pull this back out. The weeklies. So the way Clean Mama does it is on, she starts with Monday. And so Monday's the bathrooms, and then Tuesday's dusting, Wednesday is vacuuming, Thursday is washing the floors, Friday is her catch-all day, so that could be a day where maybe if you missed one, you could make it up, or you could do one of your rotating tasks or one of your monthly tasks. And then Saturday is sheets and towels, and then Sunday is just the daily five. So it get, it's meant to give you time to just like chill, relax, spend time with your family, just do the daily five, but not any major house cleaning. But for me, just because that kind of doesn't work with our schedule, I do it a little differently. So I'm washing the linens, which are sheets and towels on Monday. I empty out our garbage on Tuesday nights because we have an early Wednesday morning pickup. Wednesday and Thursday are middle of the week crunch time for me, so I usually can't get anything done house cleaning wise. I, I, sometimes I'm coming home late from work, that kind of thing, and really all I have time for is make dinner, wash the dishes, you know, spend some time with Otis and my family. So on Friday, I do the dusting, 
and then empty the fridge as well. And then Saturday, I like to vacuum and mop. I like to do those on the same day because I like to mop my floors after they've been freshly vacuumed. And then on Sunday, it's just a matter of scrubbing the bathrooms, watering the plants and scooping the poop. So watering the plants, watering the plants and scooping the poop are just really simple, easy things, but those are things that need to get done weekly. Um, so I like to have a little checklist for those because I am more inclined to do something if I can check it off. So here's what I'm doing here is just putting day of the week, just kind of the first letter of each day of the week. So I'm going to do that for all of these and then I will lay these down. Okay, so now that I have all of those written in, what I do here is I just stick these down and sheets and towels are on the same day. And then garbage is Tuesday. Dusting, which is pretty much all I have time to do on Fridays because it is now football season. So I try to get out to my little nephew's football games. He is a sophomore and he just got pulled up onto varsity. So it kind of works out because the varsity games are later. They, they play after the JV games. And so I'm not quite rushing from work to home out to his games when he was on JV his freshman year the games were at, I think they were at 5 five thirty, something like that and so it was kind of a push I would usually often I would miss kind of the first few minutes and then kind of just get there when I could so okay so that's the week and then I just put little plus signs here because I'm doing more than one thing so that's what that looks like, friends. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay the rest of these down, and then we'll take a look at the rotating and the monthly. Alrighty, friends, I like how this is looking so far. This is so cute. So I've got all the weekly tasks done, so I just check them off as I do them on each day of the week. And then flipping over to here, let's put down our rotating tasks. I love these new headers. Let's put these down. I'm gonna put it up here. And then I'm going to do the monthly right here. And then let's take a look. So the rotating tasks. There we go. So looking at October, we vacuum baseboards. So that's something we do once a month, every month. Spot clean the furniture, same thing. Bathroom light fixture. So this is something that rotates. So in October, it's bathroom light fixtures. September was family room, and then August was living and dining room, so you see kind of how you rotate through the house. Washer rugs, that's something that happens every month. Polished wood furniture, same thing. Wiping the switches and phones and remotes, that alternates, as you can see, with wiping down the appliances. See that here, wipe down the appliances, then the switches, then appliances again, etc. And then we've got wipe down appliances here. We've got clean oven, this happens. I think a couple times a year yeah so January she's got it um, we've got it here in October so maybe that's kind of is that quarterly? yeah quarterly maybe and then vacuum garage basement and storage so last month it was vacuuming mattresses and rotating them so just kind of things that need to happen either once a month or maybe quarterly or every other month kind of thing so I am going to go ahead and start writing all of these down. I have this script from Phoenix Plans, who also does Clean Mama scripts, so you can get them from either one of my friends. Oops, there we go. So I'm gonna put the baseboards down here. And then I will write in all of the rest of them. I need to put my little cover behind there because writing on this backside furniture, I can feel all the lumpiness of the stickers. Bathroom. I'm just gonna say bathroom lights. I'm gonna shorten that. Wash rugs. I take this to mean, I don't think she means that you steam clean your rugs. I guess washable rugs, like my bathroom rugs, I wash every week. Polish wood furniture. 
So I dust, I like dry dust, I guess you would say. Did I spell that right? Again, can't talk and write every week, but I use polish just once a month. Because it, it doesn't really need more than that because I use like an oil on my furniture. Phones and remotes. Okay, and then wipe down appliances. And then clean oven. I will not clean the oven unless it gets nice and cold because it gets so hot and we're still having some pretty warm weather here. It, we're, we're just starting to feel fall coming on, but I do not want to heat up the house. I don't have a basement. So I'm just gonna put vacuum garage, which we don't vacuum the garage, we sweep it out. I don't have a basement and storage. So I'm just gonna say vacuum garage. So that's what is the rotating. And then let's take a look at what the monthly. So the monthly focus is the laundry room. So I'm gonna put that here. I don't have a laundry room. My laundry is actually outside, but there's like shelves and stuff on top of, like up above the washer and dryer. So I will take care of that. Let's see, I have a declutter sticker. So let's just go ahead and use that. Pull one of these from my daily five. So I'm gonna put declutter. And that says clear laundry room or laundry area of unnecessary items. Let's just read through this. And then it says clean, clean and wipe any shelves or drawers, deep clean your washer and dryer. Friends, tell me how you deep clean your washer or dryer. I, I feel like there's like pods or something you can put in it. I have a front loading washer. So if you have a front loading washer and you have a good way to clean that, let me know. Maybe do you just run it with maybe some Clorox bleach in it or something? Let me know. Evaluate what is or isn't working. Toss and donate items that are no longer needed or wanted. Organize group like items together. Contain, use pretty containers to make supplies more attractive. Label to make locating items easier and to unify the space and then practice. Take it out, put it away and do a load of laundry every day to keep it manageable. Okay, so let's just go ahead. And what I do is I just write the headers down. I don't write all of that because I can just reference back. So this though, I am gonna put deep clean washer dryer. So just do it like that and then evaluate toss and donate, organize. Mine is pretty organized from when I did it last year. I've been keeping it pretty well maintained, so I don't think this is gonna be that big of a chore this year, which is kind of nice. Once you kind of get on a cycle, and if you're doing this every month, you know, all of the monthlies year over year, you really, it gets easier and easier. Okay, so there we go, practice. So that's it, that's the monthly focus. I think that's it, friends. I'm gonna leave it at that. So here we have dailies, weeklies, kind of the last week of the month, and then my rotating and monthly, and then here are the rest of the weeklies for October. Alrighty, friends, I think I'm all set. I think that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can catch future content on my channel. Thanks for watching, take care, bye-bye.